the early balloonists used wood fires to heat the balloon. Large modern balloons use propane. We use four birthday cake candles. We're aware that some people have used flammable liquids or gels for small balloons like we're making, but we think that's a bad idea. Liquid fuels are hard to control. The flame vaporizes more fuel, which makes a still bigger flame. Fuel can drip out and continue burning on the way down, and once it lands, it can cause a fire. Birthday candles, on the other hand, have a constant flame and go out when dropped. People carrying hot air balloons use careful technique and a special flame resistant material at the bottom of the balloon to keep the envelope from burning. Our design depends on placing the candles in the middle, held away from the plastic. Our balloon has a much lower working temperature than giant balloons. It's only warm to the touch. Using a thin plastic bag is much less flammable than a paper hot air balloon. Contact with a candle flame creates a hole in the plastic envelope that does not seem to sustain combustion. The fire goes out when the flame is removed. That said, in the unlikely event of the candle flame continuously held in contact where the plastic is bunched, like up at the top, the plastic will burn and drip. It would have to be dealt with immediately, stamped out or water thrown on it. Whenever there's an open flame, there has to be adult supervision and good judgment. We do one to grow on. Including when we encourage kids who can't yet tie their shoes to put their faces next to burning candles stuck on a giant pastry. <laughs> and as with small children and big pets, you'll have to assess each situation and decide what's safe and appropriate. He loves people. This is Dr. Joseph LeBlanc, a physics professor who also donates some time every week to teach elementary students about science. Oh, so you, you calculated that four candles... He launched a hot air balloon and set a speed record for a hot air balloon circumnavigating the Earth. Okay, it was a giant globe hanging from the ceiling, but it was fun. See how much it pulls? Careful, it might pull you up. <laughs> Kids could see buoyancy and tactily feel the pull. The discussion careened from expansion of hot air to the scientific method of experimentation, from the history of flight to expanded vocabulary. A few candles under here and a few candles under uh, here. So it was like basic, I don't know. Yeah. I, think, I mean, you can go on forever. I mean, how much weight, how high it would go, what, what's the you longest can feather your, you could Could you have. change your room temperature to oh. see if that would change how fast? Freeze the house. Right. Soon there were containers of water out making the connection between the Archimedes principle in air and water, with threads of conversation about symmetry and boat design. Eureka! Don't deprive kids of the educational insights of hot air balloons. Just use some common sense about safety and go for it. Blow dry and turn out the candles. 